Hey there, geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com, and today you got a two-for-one. We're going to show you how to rename a printer, which is something a lot of people don't even know about, and how to remove a printer in Windows 10. So let's start with renaming, which is kind of cool. We're going to go to Start, Settings, and you're going to click on Devices. Once you get to Devices, you want to click on Printers and Scanners. Now I'm in Virtual Machine, so I don't actually have a physical printer installed, but we can play with Microsoft Print to PDF. So you go ahead and click on whichever one is your printer. And we want to click on Manage. And wait, there's more. Now we got to go to Printer Properties. And there's your name right there, automatically highlighted in blue. So we can name it anything you want. You can add to it, cut some of it out, or completely rename it. Then click on OK. Let's close this out. There you go, Microsoft Print to PDF Major Geeks. And in the video up here, the little aisle pop up, you can click on that for what is the PowerShell code. And that is if it doesn't work for you. So basically what you would do is this is going to be the same on the second part of this video. Windows key plus X. And I'm not going to spend too much time on it. Windows PowerShell is admin. Paste that code in. And it's going to give you a list. These are your names of your printers. So then you would use rename printer dash name, just like that. Then in quotes, the current printer name, then dash new name and the new printer name. So you would type in, in this case, the part that I showed you, this has to be in quotes, short of the major geeks. And then again, repeat with the dash new name and put in, I would put in Microsoft Print to PDF Major Geek. So just don't forget your quotes when you do the name. PowerShell is a little fussy about how things work. And when you have something you're putting in there like a name without quotes, it just tries to load it just like any other part of the text in here. So there is how you rename a printer. Now let's go into how to remove a printer, which is not too difficult to do. So we're going to go to Start Settings, Devices, Printers and Scanners again. So we're already here. Then all you have to do is click on your printer and click on remove device. Go to and click remove device and just follow the prompts with a yes from there. Now, there's actually another way to do it. If this doesn't work for you, it's worth a try. We'll copy this code right here. Click copy. Open file explorer up. Clear that out with a backspace. Press control V paste that code in and there is your printer so it doesn't change much you just right click on it now and click on delete it's just another way to get to it do I have PowerShell in here too yeah device manager so that can be kind of handy you would quite simply Windows key plus X and Windows 10 and click on device manager and just like before you'll find your printer under printers and of course I didn't have one installed so that doesn't help so we'll look at the picture as you can see, printers, right click, uninstall device. And as mentioned, I'm not going to waste a ton of time in PowerShell again, but if you get stuck <clears throat> and you need it, it's very similar to what I showed you before. You can see what I did here. So you want to get a list of printers as we did before with this code. And then we're going to do remove printers a lot shorter this time. Copy that in there, put a space, and then in quotes, the name of your printer. So as you can see, sometimes this is why it's worth renaming your printer. My main printer is HP NV5660 series, bracket 3F0163 bracket. So if you ever got to play with it, it's kind of annoying and it's an extremely long name. So I just changed that to like HP NV because I know what it is. But printers can be a real pain, but this is how you remove them. And in a little bit, I'm going to add a new video, watch for it, and that's going to be how to get the drivers out of there. So there you have it. That's how to remove a printer and how to rename a printer in Windows 10. Hope we helped you out. Bottom right corner is the Major Geeks logo. We appreciate you watching, and hopefully we'll see you again soon.